GC 2020 Finals, Navi presented an incredible play with excellent teamwork. It might sound unbelievable, but when they played in the PMGC Finals, Navi was a team that had only practiced together for four months. After achieving good results, they also showed everyone how much they had improved in the PMPL tournament. To summarize, Navi is a team that has mature tactics and a rather solid performance. We can see signs of this from their opening strategy. In the PMGC Finals, no matter what map they're on, they always tend to parachute down in the top left corner. In the PMPL 2021 tournament, although they parachuted down in the top left corner like usual, they deviated from the usual route and landed in the areas near the middle so they could search for supplies from the center. Compared with the past, this is an improvement of their own tactic. Needless to say, when they collect supplies early on in the game, they are much safer. This can be seen in this season of the PMPL. The members of Navi rarely suffered casualties early on in the game. As Navi is proficient at using items to create an advantageous environment for themselves, they rely heavily on the collection of supplies. By starting a match like this, they'll usually have plenty of time to gather supplies. In competitions, that's also why we usually see almost every Navi team member holding on to a large number of grenades and smoke grenades for a while. I'm sure many players will understand why they choose to do this initially. They avoid firefights, collect supplies, and fight in the play zone. I'm sure everyone understands that if they are caught up in any short and quick encounters, unless they have enough time to complete their preparations, they will instantly be at risk of losing some members. For example, in this match in the PMGC 2020 Tour, Team Navi encountered Team Zeus on their way to the play zone, and a close-range firefight broke out, causing them to lose some members. When their teammates wanted to back them up later, they were caught in a rough spot and lost three members at the beginning of the match. When it comes to Navi, one of the toughest problems is figuring out how to enter the play zone. In fact, this problem comes down to scouting. If they can gather enough information before they enter the play zone, then they can choose the safest direction to enter. This time, Team Navi had naturally improved their tactics and targeted this situation. First, they'll split up and get the two vehicles. One will drive a vehicle alone in the front, while the other three will follow in another vehicle. If they're attacked, the first person just has to get immediately out of the way, while the three members behind can decide a direction, try to retreat, or push forward and counterattack. With a clear and precise strategy like this, any team will find it extremely difficult to single-handedly wipe them out. To resolve the scouting issue when they enter the play zone, the member responsible for gathering information in Team Navi keeps an obvious distance from the rest of the team and will approach the play zone before the whole team assembles. It is obvious that Navi has matured a lot since PMGC. So, even though Navi doesn't have a high number of eliminations, they can still count on a steady survival rate to place them at the top. In a professional tournament filled with experts, such a simple and effective strategy is even more precious. If you want to know more about Navi's evolution in 2021, we can review the brilliant match in which they eliminated 13 players in PMGC 2020 and their matches in PMPL 2021.